what up YouTube? It's your boy SSJ Ghost Who aka No Limit. Woo on Roblox and you already know how I'm rocking. And in this video right here, I'm gonna give y'all the ultimate guide to this game, Fighters Era, and show you basically what you need to do, what you need to start off doing when you first start playing this game whenever they open it up for release. For all the people that's already playing a game that's in a closed community, we already know you know everything. You're in the game, you're playing, you're getting stronger every day. But this is for brand new people that are coming to the game. But let's get right into it. First day first, I'm in. Y'all already know how I'm rocking. I'm going to have to go ahead and show them my stats. So that way y'all can see how far I've been progressing since I've been playing this game. It's so my stats to the bottom right. I'm not as strong as you can see, but I got the main stuff done. So just combat speed and regular speed. Those are capped out. All I got to do is cap out my strength to 600 and get my durability up to infinity and beyond. <laughs> but anyways, first day first in this game. A lot of y'all already know off rip are going to ask, how do you get money? I'm already knowing. So first thing first, I'm going to go to the main job board that everybody goes to. It's pretty simple, not that hard. So this is the main job board that's in the game. Now, I'm going to show you all my method on how I get money faster if I don't have friends that give me money or other things like that. So I do pizza deliveries. I keep doing them like crazy because it's literally right here. Pizza delivery, pizza delivery, pizza delivery, pizza delivery. Just do as much as you can. Usually, I'll try to take as much off the board as possible, but I'm not going to go into details about that. But if you are working this board first, you want to make sure you grab all the pizzas first nonstop, and then you just keep doing it back to back to back, and then you get to whatever amount that you please to get. I recommend at least 20 to 30K if you want to grind and get some decent stats. Now, let's say there's no pizza delivery on this board, right? You want to go ahead and click pick up groceries because once you do the pizza, you'll run back this way get the groceries and then you'll take them all the way to the shop back here now what I mean by there are jobs throughout the game and like everywhere job boards when you go when you finish that job right there that I just did you want to come over here in this area and you want to click pizza delivery and all you're gonna do is run all the way back to the pizza delivery job now if you can kind of understand what I'm trying to do is I grab the pizza box take it over there and when I come back and hit the board, I'll go back and go get the groceries. Pretty simple process to me. Pretty, pretty simple. Uh, just try to rack your money up and get as much as possible. And as you can see, look, back to doing the groceries all over again. Too easy. Too easy. So this is especially for y'all new people that's going to come out. Hopefully they open up this game soon. That way you know exactly what you need to do, etc., 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 etc. Now... I know y'all see previous videos on stuff to get, all that stuff, etc. The only thing I'm going to go to first is XP. So the main XP things that are in this game is protein bars and salmon sushi. Now, here is the difference between protein bars and salmon sushi once I get over there. And you're going to see, you're going to see why more people get salmon sushi than protein bars. Now, I'm not sure if there's any different type of XP boost or anything like that. But when you come up in here, protein bars are $72. But then whenever you eat it, I'm just going to show you, whenever you eat it, you get this little symbol right here, which is XP. It's going to give you XP whether you're training running, strength, or if you're doing durability. It helps out a whole lot or combat speed. Pretty simple. Now, when you come over here to Chin Sushi Bar, right? They have Salmon Sushi right here. Salmon Sushi. So when you eat it, it'll pop up the same thing. Even though it's already up there, it'll pop up the same thing. But I'll go ahead and buy another one. And I'll show y'all throughout the video whenever that symbol go away. So that way you don't think I'm lying. And you're not trying to waste your 32 bucks that you can get back in one job. Etc, etc, etc. But the main thing in this game is you want to get your strength up before anything. Strength is key. I recommend everybody getting their strength at least to 250. 250, that way you're able to wear this 120 kg vest. Which I will take y'all to the vest later on. So, basically, if you want to, you can set up probably like a macro or something right here. I'm not going to show you exactly how I set up my macros because you may want to set up your macro differently than me. But usually how I do it, as you can see, I'm going to eat the salmon sushi real quick. Pops up the symbol right here for XP. I'll grab the uh, spar training, click spar training, and then I'll start punching the bag. So, I'm just gaining boost as I'm doing this the whole time. Strength. Getting my strength up. Crazy. Now... Once we get into like sit-ups and push-ups and more detail about that, 
you're not gonna really gain a whole lot of stats off push-ups and sit-ups which it should be like that i know some games that people play you do push-up sit-ups and you gain a whole bunch of xp overnight not in this game that's not the case but that's for strength everything you do you want to eat that salmon sushi over and over every time you do it so that way you gain a max amount of xp now i am lucky right now this is one point what is i think it's 1.3 xp right now i could be wrong correct me in the comments if i'm wrong but that's the xp boost for this weekend all right so durability training so they just added cell punch i'm gonna go ahead and grab durability just for right now and i'm gonna show y'all exit later on and shadow training now shadow training you only can grab one at a time as you see i'm clicking and i can't click shadow training all over again so i know a little good trick that i can show you how to do it now if you sit in this corner I don't know it's up to you you can click the shadow training and you can punch maybe you can set up a little macro or something like this this is what i did to get my uh combat speed to 200 max i just sat here in this corner i grinded to like 40k or something like that and i just kept hitting it all the way until i get the max amount of strike combat speed because i got a couple of 1v1s that i had with people and it's been difficult bro it's been very very difficult fighting people in this game i'm not gonna lie but like now I'm punching way faster. I probably still will get folded by boxing because y'all know boxing is like the overpowered style in any game you ever played. So yeah, about that. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and go to the back portion that's back here. And this is basically where the vest, the push-ups, the self-punch, all that stuff, etc. All that. So this is the main building gym that has everything. So they have road work. Good thing about this game, you click road work one time. Uh, I'll go through it real quick. I'm not going to wear a vest or anything like that. You'll click the road work and you'll do it. The icons are right there. You just run in circles nonstop. Now, like I said, make sure you got the salmon sushi or protein bars, whatever one that you want. And you can go uh, get those every time. Also, this too, get fried chicken that's over here. This is TVP Got Gas. You already know. KYQ, you know what I'm saying? You want to go ahead and eat his fried chicken because his fried chicken give you like some little speed boost to him. Look, look at that. Look at that. See that speed? $15. Cheap chicken, bro. I ain't never seen chicken this good. <laughs> but anyways, you want to keep running and keep pushing, etc., etc., etc. Just do it all the way until you get to the max speed, which is 110. Now, if you're making Zuchi, it's 170. And I'm not sure if any other clan can do that, etc., etc., etc. But yeah. So this is the cell punch. These are all the vests. Now you can get vests over time. Each of them range differently. I will go ahead and put their Trello in the description. That way you can look over it. Because I'm not going to go into details about each one of these vests and what strength that you need. But you want to focus on strength on this game more than anything first. Because in order to wear these vests, you have to reach a certain number of strength to use the vest. It doesn't matter if you have a lot of running speed, a lot of durability. It doesn't matter. If you don't have no strength, you can't wear those vests. Just period. All right, so sit-ups and push-ups. So obviously, common sense, push-ups is going to give you strength and stam overnight. Same thing with sit-ups. It's going to give you uh, stam and durability overnight. Use your uh, vest, and you can set up your macro however you want to do it, etc., etc. Good thing about this game, they do now have apartments, which I will go over that in a little bit, but it's pretty straightforward. So whenever you click your vest or whatever, I don't have no sushi on me right now, but I'm just going to go ahead and click the durability training. So when I click the durability, it looks like that. And then look, you can do a cell punch and you can punch yourself. Cell punch is 250 cheap. That's one job, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, for y'all low level players that's going to come into this game brand new, highly recommend, highly recommend you go into a low server that I'm in right now, where there's not that much people and not that much activity out here. Uh, you go to a high end server, there's a lot of strong people, especially wave players. They will grip you. I get gripped. Trust me, I'm not the best at knowing these games, etc. etc. Now, these are our apartment complexes. Look, man, I know it looks like they're not ready, they're in construction, but they are ready. You want to go to this lady right here, right? You're going to go ahead and click this. Can I purchase an apartment? Be 200. You click all right. Thank you. They're going to tell you your room. Room number is 10. Please don't click all the way through it. I've done that. And it aired out and i couldn't open up any doors and i basically wasted two grand for no reason so i had to go ahead and um, go to a new server or refresh the server and purchase an apartment all over again at 2000 could have been sushi or something but it's all good but these are the rooms you go in them close them what the heck the door's already open it's weird somebody probably was in here before but rooms are pretty simple you can't do anything in a room can't do anything like mighty omega and all that stuff but you can train in here, set up your macro or whatever, however you want to do it overnight. So that way you don't get gripped or anything like that. Pretty straightforward with that. 
uh also with the bank on here so you do lose a little bit of money whenever you get gripped on a game highly recommend you come into this bank right here get you a card cost 500 and then you come over here to the bank and put your money in there i have thirty five thousand dollars if any of y'all seen that that's in watching this video do not ask me for no money i need that money for training uh same thing over here they got like burritos and stuff etc burritos help with uh speed too i believe yep it's speed so it helps you with your speed if you want to run uh, it's all up to you but keep, hey keep in mind kill kills chicken is cheaper it's five dollars cheaper but if you don't really care you got money like that go ahead and get uh burritos if you want now i do have a rare clan is agito so i could go here to this hood food place or whatever this is where my guy is for agito etc i know a lot of y'all don't care about it who cares but this is where i go for agito spot ramen so i know y'all see my durability art videos when you eat this right this doesn't mean you're gaining xp for durability all you're getting is extra health to take more damage in a sense if that i hope that makes sense if it doesn't just message me on discord and i'll explain it better other than that man enjoy the gang or something i'm in the koopas game they're pretty op we got our guy rain he's very op he's like the uh like the commander right now so yeah about that uh try to join kuma if you want to <laughs> But anyways, uh, this is where people go for like the the games, like the uh, to get money. Whether you don't want to grind a board. Oh, somebody hit the door already. Low. Sweet. All right. So pretty straightforward. You'll push this safe all the way till it gets low. I'm not the strongest. Hopefully nobody run up on me. I'm not getting a fight. I'm trying. Hopefully nobody run up on me, man. I'm not trying to get in a fight while I'm trying to do a guide video. You feel me? But basically, whenever I push this, you get money. I'm not sure how much you get at the time but you do get a decent amount of money man that's how mainly i've been getting money joining gangs and then taking over the, uh, the the base so that's pretty much it but yeah we in tokyo japan man fighters areas tokyo japan it looks very beautiful looks very beautiful but anyways if you did like this video go ahead and like and subscribe i hope i gave you the best guide possible whenever you first start this game and i hope you really enjoy this game fighters era this game is not very grindy it's more of a uh getting stats and having fun punching and stuff like that i don't think it's like op 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 like where oh one it's gonna take you months to grind literally took me like as y'all see all the stats literally took me about a week a week i want to say yeah about a week or two weeks it depends i forgot i've been playing this for a minute but yeah if you didn't like this video like i said at first go ahead and like and subscribe and i'm out man peace yeah i did it i got out the trenches i'm winning y'all niggas be thinking i'm swimming i'm getting this money i'm living the haters they just keep on cheering y'all want me to lose keep on wishing i promise y'all